is strong, son but, of a bitch. <laughs> Hello everybody, today's news I'm bringing you to let you know that Alex Jones was officially banned from YouTube. Uh, he's also been banned on Facebook and Twitter and uh, Spotify. This is very disturbing to me, although I'm not a fan of his, uh, I don't really subscribe to him. Uh, I have followed some of his stuff because I believe what he speaks has grains of truth in it, but he's such a, such a far right wing nut that it's like hard to even listen to him without just, you know, wanting to turn it off. It's, it's kind of like nails on a chalkboard. But with that said, I, I don't believe he should be deplatformed. Uh, he's, I, I'm very against the way he wanted to try to, you know, get open carry and bringing guns to marches and like trying to start a violent revolution. Uh, earlier on. Uh, he, to me, my my personal belief is that he is. CIA, and I will get to that in just a moment, but let's first get to the news. Uh, I first learned of it from Tim Pool um, about six hours ago. He put a video up, and this is where I first saw it. Um, on Infowars.com, it, it says, Patriots rally behind Infowars amid text total communist censorship, is what Alex Jones' Infowars.com states. This was uh, today. doesn't have a timestamp. Um, I see some tweets. Uh, whether you like a Alex Jones in or not, he's undeniably the victim of collusion by the big tech giants. What price free speech? Infowars targeted, taken off social media. These tech companies' practices are opaque, and given their power, must be made more transparent. I don't really know who these are. I know who WikiLeaks. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Apple, Spotify, Facebook, and Google, YouTube all purged Infowars. Yes, Infowars has frequent nonsense, but also a state power critique. Which publisher in the world with millions of subscribers is next to be wiped out for cultural transgression? Paul Joseph Wanson. The Alex Jones channel has been permanently deleted by YouTube. This is a coordinated purge. This is political censorship. I'm not. You can go there and read the rest of them. There's probably a whole bunch more. Uh, I I don't support this. I I. I don't care what Alex Jones has to say. Uh, half of the stuff he says is nonsense, uh, contained with a little bit of truth to make it look foolishness. And uh, I believe that's part of why he is co Intel Pro. And I will show you why. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 let me tell you a story. I grew up in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> with the <mosquito. laughs> let me just say something. I grew up in Dallas, Texas with my family doing things like uh, helping take in. East German defectors, okay? Whenever I go to a family reunion, half the people in the room are former retired CIA. What? Okay, I don't need to play anymore. You guys can go listen to the rest of it. Uh, or you can check this out for yourself. But why I believe he is COINTEL Pro is because some, what, some of what he says is contains truth, but it's so fringed, so far out there that it's no one's going to take any of it seriously. And it's going to make all of it look foolishness. And that is to discredit the truth movement. Uh, I don't like the way Alex was trying to violently start an uprising early on in the truth movement through uh, patriots that are pro-Second Amendment. Although I myself am pro-Second Amendment, I do not believe the revolution should be violent. We should follow Iceland's peaceful revolution. Uh, that is a perfect model. But that's not what this video is about. Now, if J Alex Jones is co-intel pro... Uh, he is on the red side of the gematria. If you don't know what that is, you can check out the occult symbolism of what red versus blue means. There's a really good uh, YouTube channel, White Rabbit. I've been uh, following them for uh, a number of years. They uh, have a good video that, that goes over that. Alex Jones came up with this uh, hidden tape. Uh, that he supposedly snuck into Bohemian Grove, I believe, in 98 or 7 or some, somewhere in the 90s. Uh, snuck in past CIA, past Secret Service, uh, to a place where presidents, uh, other leaders from around the world go and politicians go and meet and apparently burn a human effigy, worship a 40-foot owl statue, have orgies, and participate in this ritual called the cremation of care. 
Uh, it's a it's Molek worship at its at its finest. Uh, I don't believe for one minute he snuck in past there. I believe he was allowed to share this information as part of uh, Blavatsky's uh, what she wrote wrote about talking about the initiation of the masses into the mystery schools. Uh, there's been secret societies and, and known as the mystery schools deep, deep in the cults of this world long before uh, the United States was formed. And she wrote about how in the Age of Enlightenment, which December 21st, 2012, we entered among, that the masses will be initiated into uh, the mystery schools. So all this occult knowledge will come about. Well, it is through people like Alex Jones and the advent of the Internet, uh, tools like that, and communications and, and information being at your fingertips via your cell phones and whatnot, that this initiation is happening, and Hollywood is playing a huge part of it. Alex Jones plays a huge part of it in discrediting the truth movement. Uh... It, it was funny to see it twist in, into him and to turn it into a far right wing like uh, Trump supporter thing for the right side of the mind control propaganda. But that's what what happened. Um, this is a graceful Watchman's video. You can go check that out. The Bohemian Grove footage. You could just Google all that. I titled this video first. They came for Alex Jones. Uh, a poem written by German Lutheran pastor. I don't even want to try to mispronounce his last name. But uh, he was basically a poem of how the German people didn't speak up. They did nothing. First they came for the socialists and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. But then they came for the trade unionists and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me. And there was no one left to speak for me. So, with that said, uh, I don't support deplatforming uh, this far right wing crazy conspiracy theorist. Uh, I believe let him have his platform. Uh, if you don't want to subscribe to it, then don't. Uh, but I don't believe in this this censorship that is going on. Uh, but it seems that it it is in response to uh, the following that the, the Twitter warriors that uh, are just want people like this deplatformed. So these corporate technocracies are kind of bowing to their their followers' demands, and this is kind of a mob rule mentality, and it's it's very eerily stems to this groupthink uh, man Orwellian type of of mentality, and I. I just man, I want to tell all my friends on the left wing to just watch yourself for group think when when you hear word on the street and all this. Do your research before you just blindly follow and and hear what you uh, you know. Don't repeat what you hear unless you've done research into it. And that's about uh that wraps up this video. Um, I got a next video I'm gonna work on as soon as I'm done with this. It's exposing how the police pushed uh, Amber Cummings uh, and Patriot Prayer into some, some left-wing dancers. I should have made this video last year, but I didn't in the news, so it's a good time for me to put this video out to expose how the police are actually somewhat in Antifa and using Antifa to create a bigger police state. Stay tuned for that video. Hit the like and subscribe button, and as always, have a wonderful day and God bless. Anonymous signing off. Don't forget to mash the like button and subscribe to Anon Medic.